Yup, I saw it. <laughs> What up, y'all? It's the Black Critic Guy, and I just got back from seeing Magic Mike. I know, shocking, because this isn't a review you would expect from me. But surprisingly enough, this movie was not extremely bad. It was very entertaining, actually. So the basic premise of Magic Mike is it chronicles the lives of two male strippers, one an up-and-comer by the name of Adam, who basically is a slob, he doesn't know how to find a good job, and he gets pulled into this, you know, male stripper industry, and he's pretty much good at it, so he's gonna start doing that and his rise to become a male stripper. And the second one is Magic Mike, who's a veteran stripper, he's been a stripper for a long time, and he's practically trying to get out of the game because he wants to have a decent living, he wants to have his own business, so to say, and it basically follows these two as one gets into the game and one tries to get out of the game. Now, this is not a movie that a guy like me would go, wow, I really want to see that movie. The trailer did not really appease my demographic. It's more targeted towards women. And I did go with two women to see this movie, and they actually really enjoyed it, and they were surprised by how much, how good the story was. Same as me, I was surprised how good this story was. I mean, the story really details the day-to-day -day life of a male stripper, and I thought they handled it and executed it very well, and I gotta say, one thing that really stood out to me in this movie was some great acting from all of the characters. First one I want to give a shout out to is Channing Tatum. This guy is impressing me more and more as I see him develop as an actor. He did good in the Valley, he was funny in 21 Jump Street, and he was really good in this. He played a very playboy-esque male stripper. He knows how to pick up girls, talk to girls, but he's also, he feels lonely. Like, he doesn't have a companion. Like, he loves the life, but he doesn't really love it. He would rather have, like, a good companion to be with instead of all these random girls that he has one night stands with, and he's trying to find companionship in this movie. But I really love the development of his character and how it shows that he's trying to get out of the game and he wants a good, decent living for himself. And then we gotta talk about about Matthew McConaughey. Man, Matthew McConaughey made this movie. This guy, I mean, the minute they thought of a male stripper movie, I'm telling you, they must have thought of Matthew McConaughey like on the dot because he is perfect for this movie. He got he's the perfect guy to put in a movie like this cuz if there's one thing I know, women love this guy and he is perfect in this movie. He plays the character to a T. And then we got Adam, the up-and-comer, who I actually at first really related to because he's like a slob. He doesn't really dress that well and he kind of, he can't really talk to girls. He's just really awkward. But he has his wingman, which is Magic Mike, who helps him pick up the girls. But he got the looks, he got the style. But later on, it shows him rising to fame and then slowly plummeting. And one thing I really liked was there was a lot of male camaraderie in this movie. I mean, yeah, it seems kind of weird that these guys are like, you know, doing and all these things in front of other dudes, but they're, they're comfortable with it. They're like, well, we're male strippers. I mean, this is what we do for a living. Why should I feel awkward in front of you guys? This is what we do. I really dug the relationship between Magic Mike and Adam's sister, which I felt was very genuine. And by genuine, I meant it felt really real. Like these two were really having a connection here. And I really loved the flirtatious dialogue. It was hilarious to watch. Fun, it made me smile. I really related to these characters. It was fun. And the direction by Steven Soderbergh was handled very well. I love the way he positioned his cameras, how he used some angles for different scenes. Now I'll talk about a few things I didn't like about the movie. First of all, we all know what I'm going to say. Yeah, I didn't really like the male stripper scenes. And it wasn't even meant for me, it was meant for the women audience who came to see the movie. But I won't detract any points for that because it wasn't meant for me, it was meant for the women audience to enjoy. And that's all fine and dandy, women deserve to have a movie like this too. So I'm not going to detract any points for that, but I will give them props because they some of the scenes really did look impressive, I'm not gonna lie, I mean, these guys are pretty good at what they did. There was this character in this movie that Magic Mike wanted to have a bond with. I really didn't feel her acting. I didn't feel no chemistry between them. She was just like a forgettable character and I really didn't like her. And lastly, the ending felt a bit abrupt. Like, I mean, it just drops on a dime where, you know, it doesn't really have much resolution and it makes you think like, oh, what's gonna happen? And I felt like the character that 
Alex Pettiford played, he didn't really get his comeuppance, which I thought should have been done in this movie, like, so he can learn his lesson, but he, he didn't really learn his lesson. He's just like, oh, I did this bad thing. Well, I'm going to do it again. Maybe. Who knows? But overall, I was thoroughly surprised at how good Magic Mike really was, because I was going to walk in there and just hate the movie right away. But I was thoroughly surprised how good the writing was. The acting was pretty superb, and the direction was pretty awesome. So I'm going to give this movie a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's not great. But it's a rather enjoyable film, and I think women are going to love the crap out of this movie. Men, you might actually find a few things to like about it. I mean, like I said, the characters were good, the direction is good, and the acting is very good. But anyway, what did you guys think of this movie? Did you like it a lot? Did you hate it? And women out there who are my subscribers, I would like to know what you guys really thought of this movie. Did you really like the male stripper scenes? Did you find it disgusting or disturbing? Comment below and let me know. Anyway, I'm the Black Critic Guy, bridging the gap between movies and anime reviews. Till then... Peace, YouTube.